हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एजू टैप दिस इज योर स्टेटिस्टिक्स सेशन नंबर टू फॉर एम सी क्यूज वी विल डिस्कस टेन एम सी क्यूज हेयर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज इन केस ऑफ सर्टेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द फॉलोइंग रिजल्ट फॉर ऑप्टेन मीन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव मीडियन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट एंड कॉफिशेंट ऑफ स्क्वेनेस इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट फोर वट इज द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो द फॉर्मूला फॉर स्क्वेनेस इज थ्री मीन माइनस मीडियन ओवर स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन सो टू फाइंड आउट द स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन वी कैन थ्री वी कैन पुट द वैल्यूज मेन इज फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव मीडियन इज फोर्टी एट फोर्टी फाइव माइनस फोर्टी एट एंड द कोफिशियंट ऑफ स्क्वेनेस इज नेगेटिव पॉइंट फोर सो बाय सोल्विंग दिस वी हैव थ्री इन टू माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस जीरो पॉइंट Four gives you nine by point zero point four gives you ninety by four means twenty two point five. So you should know the formula of coefficient of squareness. You can easily find out that our answer is twenty two point five. Answer will be D. We can use these two formulas. One is mean minus mod. Divided by standard deviation, or second formula for coefficient of squareness is three into mean minus median by standard deviation. Question number two: Any static uh, any statistical measure calculated from sample is known as statistic. Answer will be one. This is any statistical measure. from sample if it is from population it will be known as parameter it will be known as parameter statistics is the subject which deals with statistic and error is the difference between estimated and true values of any statistical measure so you have four definitions and statistic is the definition the definition of statistic is any statistical measure calculated from sample from sample not the population from population it will called as parameter usually we calculate from sample only because calculating from whole population is very very tedious task so answer will be a then If mean is greater than median is greater than mod, then distribution is the distribution is positively skewed. You can see that from the diagram. When mean, mod, median are same, mean, mod, median are same, then it's normal distribution. When mean is less than median and median is less than mod. then you have negatively skewed model then we have mean is greater than median which is greater than mod you have positively skewed data positively skewed data distribution fine so our answer will be positively skewed because mean is greater than median which is greater than mod so answer will be a here next is in frequency curve what is plotted on vertical axis on y axis on y axis we plot class frequencies we plot class fr frequencies sometimes students thinks it's cumulative frequency no in ogives we calculate we make vertical axis as cumulative frequency but in frequency curve it will be class frequencies class frequency number of students so frequency is will be marked according to the vertical axis fine next question 
increase in sales of departmental store during a festival is an example of the component of the time series so there are many kind of components of the time series one of them is seasonal variation like sales of ice creams increase in summer time sales of groundnut increases during the winter time these are seasonal variations seasonal variation secular trend secular trends are the so here we have seasonal variation because during the festive season every year there is increase in sale this is seasonal variation trend or secular trend is the trend when you have cyclic after usually more than it's the time period is more than one year time period is more than one year irregular movement when the there is increase or decrease without any trend or without any cyclic trend we have irregular movements so there are different kind of time series movements components seasonal variation secular trend long term upward or downward movement in data cyclic variation fluctuation lasting longer than one year irregular random variation unpredictable fluctuation unpredictable fluctuation next question the correlation coefficient between two variables is zero then the two lines of regression will be when r is zero when r is zero tan theta between two lines two lines tan theta becomes 90 degree this angle become 90 degree so our answer will be they will be perpendicular to each other this is the this is the when correlation coefficient is zero r is zero correlation coefficient is zero then 10 theta becomes 90 degree means two lines will be the slopes the slope of one line will be zero other line will be 90 degree so there will be 90 degree angle they will be perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other they are overlap or parallel to each other when 10 theta is zero Co 10 theta is they are coincident 10 theta is zero when r is plus minus one when the coefficient of correlation gives the relation that they are perfectly correlated when they are perfectly correlated they will be co coincident when they are strongly correlated they are almost parallel to each other or they are they overlap with each other fine next is answer will be b perpendicular to each other when performing a one way analysis of variance ANOVA which statistical test is used F test answer will be F test because F test is used when you have when you have to compare the variance between groups to the variance within the groups it helps in calculating comparing the means of three or more groups we use F test when we have to compare the whether our results the estimated results are by chance or there is a relationship between the two, two or more variables then we do chi-square test t-test when we have to compare means of two variables two variables f-test is used in one way ANOVA this is discussed in your class also so answer will be a for the data set with the following observation the first and second quartiles are so to find out the first quartile you should use this formula so first you have to arrange this data into ascending order so in ascending order the data will be this now you have total 24 
data sets 24 n is equal to 24 so i quartile by total you have n by 4 i n by fourth data set you have to term you have to look for i represents your quartile quartile 1 will representing i is equal to 1 quartile 2 will be representing i is equal to 2 quartile 3 representing i is equal to 3 so we have to find out quartile 1 and 2 for quartile 1 it will be 1 into 24 by 4 means sixth sixth observation so sixth observation will be first second third fourth fifth sixth 20 for quartile 2 we need 24 by 2 12th observation 12th observation will be 7th 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th so 22 so quartile 1 will be 20 quartile 2 will be 22 quartile 2 will be 22 quartile 2 will be 22 so answer is quartile 1 is 20 quartile 2 is 22 answer is c fine next is the third order central moment of normal distribution is so no in normal distribution you have mean is equal to mode is equal to median so in such case we have the value of third order central moment is zero the third order central moment de describes squareness and you know when you have normal distribution when you have mode median and your mean equals then you have squareness is equal to zero from that you can infer you can infer that when third order central moment is of normal distribution will be zero means your mean is equal to mode is equal to median distribution so squareness is zero and you know first order gives you mean first order central moment gives you mean second order central moment gives you variance third order describes the squareness squareness of normal distribution is zero and fourth order describe curtises we have we use different formulas to describe these fine next is so answer will be c your third order central moment will be zero for normal distribution zero for normal distribution in data set let the first and third quartile will be 268.25 and 290.75 respectively the quartile deviation is equal to so to find out quartile def deviation you need to calculate q3 minus q1 divided by 2 so q3 is 290.75 minus 268.25 this gives you divided by 2 22.5 divided by 2 this gives you 11.25 this gives you 11.25 the answer is 11.25 means answer is d so these are the 10 important question you should revise all the formulas and basics of statistics which will help you to score good thanks we will meet in another session in a marathon session within few days thank you so much